1970 Memorial Day weekend, uh, the Rock Festival took place. They, they were just everywhere. It was just a whole lot of people. Almost smack dab in the middle of Illinois, Hayworth, a population of about 1,200 at the time, and in a decade where sex, drugs, and rock and roll took and, uh, over. I'm hard as a rock, man. No small town in America wanted 60,000 hippies to show up in their community. But on private farmland right behind these trees on the Kickapoo Creek, David Lewis had a vision of bringing thousands of people in to listen to dozens of bands. Quite something to actually be within hearing distance of REO Speedwagon or Canned Heat or BB King and uh, Ted Nugent. The small town teen felt like he was in the Big Apple. It was a big crowd. Was it hard to get in? Not if you didn't, not if you mind paying the money. 15 bucks for no rules, sometimes no clothes, just grass and music. I don't think anybody, even the, the promoters and everybody else, realized that it was going to be as a big event as it was. 60,000 people partying, drinking, and eating, and one place that they went to was the IGA. It was there 45 years ago, and today it still exists. They, they cleaned it out, and as soon as they could get people to bring more or the you know, trucks to unload more, it was sold as quickly as they could deliver. Like uh, Electric Disneyland showed up for three days. Meet R.C. Raycraft. I always wondered, you know, what happened in the creek and what happened that weekend and uh, started to do some research. And research he did, years of it, all to create a film, The Incident at Kickapoo Creek. The townsfolk boarded up the windows and uh, locked up their children and were very, very frightened because the hippies are coming, the hippies are coming. This is the first time that students or the younger generation can really understand what it was like in 1970. A story not told in history books of a weekend that took over McLean County. It was an illegal festival because the state's attorney said in the newspaper he was going to stop it. Well, he ended up not being able to do so because by the time they served the papers, there was already 6,000 people on the property. And rumors traveling far and beyond. After the event was over, you know, David Lewis uh, disappeared. The rumor was he went to the Bahamas. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Was sentenced to a year in jail and a quarter of a million dollars in fines. He was actually arrested that weekend at the bank um, he went in on Saturday morning, he had a sleeping bag full of cash and a loaded 38. But bailed himself out after making a quarter of a million dollars in a village he escaped from. I'm looking for Mr. Lewis. I don't know where he's at. I'm Bridget Burnett for WAND News.